kilowatts, 118 kilowatts, and so 178. That means it's, that is very healthy for a stop already. And it's a silver top. Bro. Silver top. Nothing done to the motor whatsoever. Nothing done to the motor. So when you were speaking, you said that this, this isn't your first car, like the only car you owned before. Yeah. And you've had a few cars before with this, no? Uh, only one. Only one. Only one. And what car is that? Toyota. Uh, also the Toyota. 1.6, Okay, 168. Yeah. So, so what made you go like to purchase this car? Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I was always looking for something more. Yeah. Because I feel like the 160 was giving me that, but I always wanted something more. So initially the plan was to then uh, put in a 20 valve motor. In, in your that, 160 In that Ultimate okay. 160i. Um, so that was the initial plan and I had a lot of plans for that car. Uh, however, when I saw this car, uh, so randomly I saw the car on a Friday. Usually on a Friday I got yeah. on my phone, but that specific Friday, when I got on my phone, there was like 300 messages in that group. And when I saw this car, <laughs> I private messaged the owner immediately. And I was like, let's go, let's do the swap. And, and you know uh, the car already, right? Yeah, yeah the I history know the of car, the car. Yes, so when we went to go check out the car, Initially, he drove the car the first time. Okay. I was sitting passenger, and when I was in the car, <laughs> I knew for a fact this was going to be the car. <laughs> also, one of the most, uh, one of the reasons why I pushed to get this car because the interior itself was, uh, to me, when I was sitting in that car for the first day, it felt uh, very special because yeah. my grandfather used to own a bubble. Okay. And I used to drive with him like almost every day in his so car. It makes sense now. I always so wanted a bubble. I always huh? wanted a bubble. And plus, so now you have the, the power whistle. Now I have the power whistle. And that sound, man. You can't get enough of that yeah. sound. I'm sure that's what won you over the most of this car. Yes, no truth. Just that, that, that the raw power, man, and that, that feel of the, the throttles when it opens up. Yeah, no? <laughs> but you enjoy this car, don't no? I enjoy this car. And every day when I drive the car, uh, I tell myself I'm not going to open up the <laughs> But it's so tempting, you just have to uh, uh. sneak it in there <laughs> against the 20 volt motor yeah. but a lot of people like just like assume now that it's a bearing knock motor man, yeah, really so we can now confirm it from yourself this is your first 20 valve no? my first 20 valve and I'm hoping to look after this car <laughs> um, it yeah. can't get out of hand no? it can't can get out of hand <laughs> yeah but that, that, that heavy foot my bro huh? <laughs> <laughs> but how's the car in fuel? fuel? No? Um, since the car was tuned even before that, okay, before that it was, um, I couldn't really yeah. estimate 
like overfueling a bit. Overfueling a lot, but I could, one thing I, was, I noticed that uh, the car was overfueling. Yes. Uh, I could see from the spark plugs and, and the smoke at uh, the back. And the smoke at the back. But since the car was tuned by Dean, Dean's performance. Okay. Uh, shout out to him. And uh, the car has been yeah. absolutely. It's acting, acting like a 1.6 now. Acting like a 1.6 yeah. now, yeah. I threw in Petra like three weeks ago and I'm still driving with that 500. With that, yeah. And I drive say three times a week.
can see the engine base flashed. Um, here's the motor itself. You know, this motor fits liquor in here, no? Yeah, very nice, very nice. There's a JDM fuel as well, no? Yes, definitely. Uh, stock 212, so we're top. Um, all the way stock, nothing done to the motor. Is this the stock branch as well, no? Uh, this is the silver top branch. Silver top branch as well. The, the, the black top is a bit thicker. Thicker, yes, mm. so the amateur is a bit thicker. Uh, downpipe, the exhaust done by Profit. 57. Uh, 57 out and back is 63. Coming out of the back with 63. Um, Let's take them here to the putter. <laughs> yeah, the putter. <laughs> 80 more throttles. No, That's no. about it. Uh, fuel pressure regulator. Um, running a 6 bar uh, fuel pump. Yeah. And that's about it. That's about no. it. All catch can. As a liquor catch can. No? Catch can. Just, just to use add, that finish. Just, yeah, just to add a bit of performance look with the stabilizer also being thrown. And I see and you flipped your mounts as well, no? Mounts. The extra lows. Because I'm running coilovers. ARC coilovers. How is the drive on the, the in those bubbles? The drive is amazing. No? The fact that you can sit there. I also drove now and I was like feeling yeah. it's, it's very comfortable. Yeah. No? And it's quiet because you can sit the drive height. Or you can just set the, the dampening. The dampening. Mm. Any future plans on this this car? Future performance plans, wise. Performance wise, uh, I think I'm just gonna do head work no? in the future. Uh, but not now. I'm enjoying it as it is. I'm enjoying the power uh, that it's giving me now. Uh, the idling is a bit like in the morning, like we have a quiet neighborhood, so it's like <laughs> the idling is already like. It's very loud. Yeah, so plus you don't have a cold star, so you have to keep your foot there. I have to keep my foot there for so a minute or two and then I leave it, so then it has to idle for yeah. about 10 minutes. So the idling is a bit there, but so I don't like the rough idling, especially <laughs> when I'm in traffic also. You sure it's not camp, bro? <laughs> no, nah, it's not camp, not camp. So other than that, you said it work, maybe cams in future. Maybe cams in future. Cutting the cam or the getting cam. the toter, set the cams. Um, Cutting the can. Nah. They're a bit pricey now, the toters. Yeah, they're a bit pricey. And maybe get the other radiator, the Honda, the, the aluminium one. I just see now, match. yeah, this is it. I was, I was checking, hey, what the yeah. radiator is this? <laughs> yeah, just to match the chrome uh, look, I'll go for a more chrome radiator. So I know now this this um, setup, obviously, for you now at the moment is, is sufficient. Yeah. No? Yes. But in future, would you ever plan on swapping this out maybe? And if if so, what, what motor would you put in? I wouldn't swap out the motor. Uh, or if I would, I'd go for single beams. Okay. Single beam. Because I know that stuff is hard. <laughs> that stuff is hard. And uh, fuel, fuel consumption is also pretty decent. On the, on the fuel? On the, yeah. Single no? beams. But for now, nah, for uh, now this, is this guy is perfect, yeah. Yeah, it's perfectly balanced. It's perfectly balanced. Plus the bubbles, not heavy. Bubbles are heavy, mm. and what supports this engine well is also the poly mounts, right around poly mounts. So, yeah, they've done a good job. Oh, so that's it, guys. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Another thing I wanted to say I know there's people watching not just from South Africa, but. Um, internationally as well especially with the 4g being that that type of motor that the people love like philippines and their countries so maybe you can just comment there pause the video and comment there down below where you're from it will be nice to actually know but other than that maybe we'll shot no? thank you for you i really appreciate it and on to the next one <laughs>